Welcome to my channel Step Ahead with a new video. Push-ups are one of the most common exercises and have become synonymous with working out the following program. Is perfect for everyone who wants to train at home without any kind of equipment to give you a lot of variety. We divided this program into four different workouts with two different variations each day each workout is focused on different muscles and includes different progressions so that you can do the workout as a beginner as an intermediate and also as an advanced athlete all push-up variations in this video are also included in our new home workout program so if you are looking for a complete step-by-step -step home workout guide you should visit Kali move calm all right now it's time to start the first Workout that to push our variations we chose for this one air focused on your chest and triceps the first one is the side to side push up this exercise is a modified version of the standard push up here you shift your weight more to one side instead of going down to the center the more you extend one arm and shift your way to the other side the harder this exercise gets don't shift your weight back to the middle position before a while you push yourself up this is a compensation and not the goal of this movement if you can't do the exercise with the correct form even when you choose a very narrow hand placement you can make it easier by doing it on your knees another option is to do incline side to side push-ups on two chairs a table or any other stable object with right height the second exercise is the in and out push-up here you alternate between the regular and the diamond push-up of course you can also modify this exercise by doing it on your knees or on all objects you can find at home a chair or a table should do the job quite well but always keep in mind to not sacrifice full range of motion but go all the way up and down if the standard version on the ground is too easy for you you can make it harder by doing it with an explosive grip. switch now we move on to the second workout which includes two a b focused push-up variations the first one is the gecko push-up this variation not only has a strong focus on the obliques it also requires some hip mobility when you do the gecko push-up you lift one leg off the ground and move your knee towards your elbow on the same side in the next flap you do the same but with the opposite side when you go down you rotate your torso a little bit so that the site which is closer to the ground has a slightly increased range of motion this is not a problem because you alternate the sites with each rep if the gecko push up on the ground is too hard you can do incline gecko push-ups on chairs or on the table the higher the object the easier this exercise gets if you're a bit stiff around your hips it might happen that you aren't able to reach the elbow with your knee in this case you just try to bring it as close to your elbow as possible the second exercise on workout two is the knee to elbow push-up this variation has a strong focus on your rectus abdominis also known as the six pack but will also target your internal and external obliques to do it right you lift one leg off the ground and move your knee towards the opposite elbow in the next rep you do the same but with the opposite side as in the gecko push-up you have to rotate your torso a little bit again the site which is closer to the ground has a slightly increased range of motion if the knee to elbow push up on the ground is too hard for you you can modify it in the same way as the gecko push up it might also happen that you aren't able to reach your elbow with the knee if your hip mobility is not good enough in this case you simply move it as close as possible in a third workout you got to push up variations which not only target the muscles on the front side but also on the back side of your body please keep in mind that these 
Variations are no direct replacement for a complete back workout but they are a good addition to even out to strong. Focus on the anterior chain of the push-up. The first exercise of this workout is Sokotra push-up. Here you let yourself down like in a regular push-up move right into the cobra. Position and hold it for one second. After that you go back to the lowest. Push-up position and push yourself up. Again when you do the cobra pose you have to push your arms into the ground. Extend your spine actively and push the shoulders and shoulder blades down once as much as possible. In the basic version only your feet and your hands have contact to the ground. But if you are an absolute beginner you can make it easier by also keeping contact to the ground with your knees as you might know it's much easier to let yourself down instead of pushing your body up against the gravity so if you are not able to do the basic version of this movement you can skip the positive push-up part and just do the negative one in combination with the cobra pose the second exercise is to swim a push-up in the first part of the movement you do a regular push-up when you are in the lowest position you lift your hands off the ground and move them forward until your arms are in full extension from there you return to the lowest push-up position and push yourself back up make sure to keep your head in the neutral position by tucking your chin and looking to the ground when you push yourself up a wider wave like motion and try to keep your spine as straight as possible if this exercise is too hard you can make it easier by either doing it on your knees or doing the modified version on a higher object now we move on to the last workout and here we included the more shoulder focused exercises the first one is the planche lean push-ups also known as the pseudo planche push-ups to execute it right start in a push-up position and walk a bit forward with your feet the more you work forward the more your shoulders move in front of your wrists and the heart of this exercise gets if the planche lean push-up is too hard even if you lean yourself only a little bit forward just do it on your knees it's way more important to get a decent lean s to do it on your feet if you can't lean that far forward you will not target the shoulder optimally that's why doing it on your knees gives you the best results in that case when it comes to the hand placement you got different options the planche lean push-up requires a good wrist mobility so if your wrists are not used to this movement we suggest to rotate them the easiest version is usually the one with slightly or completely outward rotated heads it's also possible to do this exercise for fingers pointing backwards this is very hard and involves your biceps more than the other hand placements to measure your level and progress you could use an object like a chair a door frame or a wall use some tape to mark where you put your hands in relation to the object then you can use your shoulder or your forehead to measure your lean if the object is movable you can also mark the position of the object with the taste just in case moves a bit when you train the last exercise is the pike push-up you can vary this exercise by placing your feet higher than your hands if you place them onto an object above your hands the exercise gets harder if you place them on the ground it gets easier if pike push-ups on the ground are still too hard for you you can change the angle a little bit the more vertical you push the harder this exercise gets the more horizontal you push the easier it gets always keep in mind that this exercise is still a vertical push movement so don't go below a 45 degree angle of your upper body when you do pike push-ups and you are not very mobile you can bend your knees a little bit this exercise is not about mobility in the first place but a good mobility helps you with a clean execution all right this was the 
complete workout now you can take a look at the overview to know when you have to train and when you have to rest when it comes to the sets and reps we suggest between three to four sets for each variation so you got about six to eight sets in each workout we recommend to work with the progressions we've shown you before so that you are at a rep range of about six to 15 reps in each set please don't go all out in every set but keep a few reps in the tent if you already got some experience you can max out on the last set for each variation if you like this workout and want a full body home workout that includes a wide variety of different exercises you should head over to Cali Move come and check on a new home workout program the complete program gives you six months of training with six different phases follow along workouts and a lot of variety each session is done in only 30 to 60 minutes and you don't need any additional equipment if you like this video then click on like button and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative videos